Hi guys, and welcome back. Today, Sainsbury's have challenged Mike and I to create a pineapple salsa for a tuna steak with a watercress salad. If you haven't already subscribed, then you could go and do that if you want to. And if you try this out at home or if you have any suggestions, then make sure you leave us a comment in the comment section below this video. And let's get cooking. Cool. So what do I do first? <laughs> So first of all, we have some chopped tinned pineapple. We've already separated this out just to save time, but we've kept the juice. Make sure you keep the juice, that's very important. And what we're gonna do first is add half a green pepper, chopped and de-seeded. That can be your job. I am gonna take one red chili and slice it and de-seed it. Whilst we're doing this, I'm also gonna chop some fresh coriander. We are both dressed for summer. Is it sun shining outside? No, the sun is not shining outside, but that's okay because we're making a sunny recipe. So once you've done all of your chopping, or we've done all of our chopping, we're going to throw everything into the bowl. So you've got the coriander, the chilli and the green pepper as well. So to finish off the salsa, we need one tablespoon of the reserved pineapple juice and then the juice of one whole lime, which Mike is going to chop in half, would I you kindly? and growl at it too if you feel that it is necessary. And then you just go in and stir it all up. That's easy, isn't it? That was really easy. Apparently, according to the recipe, it also says you can keep this in the fridge for up to two days if you cover it. Okay, so seeing as the salsa is done, it's time to cook the tuna. We have the pan on a high heat. I am gonna pass Mike the tuna steak. These look so yummy, I love tuna steaks. And you're gonna massage a little bit of oil well, into the tuna steaks and season them as well. Oh, olive oil. The olive oil is on. Massage. Oh, look at that massaging technique. And then we're gonna put some salt and pepper on, season them and throw them in the pan. And then you just put it in the pan. Just like that? Yeah. Fair enough. Right, it says to cook these for one and a half minutes on each side. I like my tuna steak quite rare, so I like to kind of eyeball it until I think it looks done. But in the meantime, we're gonna plate up the watercress and get ready for the tuna steak. Oh yeah, that looks tasty. Right, so you're wanting a rare one, so yeah. if I do your rare one? Yeah. And then last but not least, we put the salsa on top. The salsa is actually smelling good. I like it. Mm. Anything with coriander in smells amazing. Yeah. So I'm going to pop a spoonful of this on top of the tuna steak. I think it's going to be spicy because there's quite a lot of chilli in there. That looks good. But it does look really good. It's tasting time. Tasting time. Let's go for it. This looks delicious. Make sure you get a bit of pineapple. Mmm. It's really spicy though. I think wow. I got a bit of chilli. Yeah. Definitely got some heat. A really good summer recipe, I think. If you want to know how to cook this, the recipe will be listed in the info bubble. It's super easy, as you saw, lots of chopping and then cooking of the tuna steaks. If you want to see us cooking some new recipes, make sure you give us some suggestions in the comments section below and subscribe. And we will see you next time with something tasty. Bye guys. Goodbye.